So what do you think about the young generation buying six to nine hundred pound on drip? I think it's fucking stupid. And you see them kids there that do that? Whether they're kids or adults, when I say kids, I mean like a man that's 18 or you know, girl that's 21, whatever. With that mindset, they will never be able to get into property because the two are mutually exclusive. Out of every 100 people that have a, a property or two, is there one or two of them that are into Balenciaga and Rolex watches and Balmain and Gucci sliders and that, yeah? But for the most part, most of them people there who are into the drip, uh, you know what I'm saying, into this luxury lifestyle and that, they want to drive a Mercedes, but they're still living in that, at their parents' house and that. I promise you, 99% of those people will never get into property. 99% of them people will never own their own property. And if they do, they won't even have an extra rental flat. Never. They never will. Because it's mutually exclusive. You cannot buy into that luxury lifestyle and that and expect to be able to save up money to buy a property. Because it's all a mindset. It's the mindset of, do you know what? Let me delay gratification. Let me make sacrifice, let me save, let me be disciplined in that for maybe two and a half years or whatever. And then, you know, sometime in the future, because that stuff ain't important, sometime in the future, that's when I will go and buy and spend on them stupid luxuries. And that. This is the way it's supposed to work. You're supposed to, all right, let's take it from the bottom here. Let's say yeah, you go to school, you go to college, you get yourself a skill, get yourself a trade, get yourself an education, i.e. going to uni. Yeah? Once you got yourself the skill, the trade, the education, you get yourself a high paying job, you know, you try and maximize your wages, your salary, either by working overtime, constantly changing, stay in the same field of work, but change jobs and or become self-employed and that, you know, working overtime and that, you maximize your money. Once you get that money, once you get those P's and that, you save your money, save your money for however long it's gonna take, two, two and a half years, go and buy a property, buy a couple of properties and that. The profit that you're getting from those properties, that's when you go and buy the stupidness. That's when you go and lease the Mercedes or get your like an idiot, was it, kettle, Bust down, pop some pans, whatever you want to call the fucking watch. Get that bullshit. Buy your Gucci sliders and that. Get your little luxuries and that. You get that from the profit, yeah, that is generated by your investment. You don't take your hard-earned cash that you had to put time and money and um, time and effort into. You don't take that money and then go and buy nonsense. If you're gonna buy and indulge in nonsense, make sure. Is the profit that comes from some sort of investment. And how the hell people in 2024 still can't work this out? It's dumb blood.